Right, so I'm going to show you some more things you can do with your chain stitch. Today I'm using a chunky yarn and I'm using a six millimeter hook. So if you see it's nice and chunky. This is the uh, chains that I've done before and I'm going to show you how to do a double knit stitch, which I've done length here already. I'll show you what you can do with it. So to do the double knit, you go in the chain and you grab the yarn from the back and pull it through. So you've got one, two loops on your hook. You then take the yarn from the back over the front, turn your hook down and pull it through both loops. It makes a nice shape like that one. Don't like two little legs. So in, grab the yarn to put two loops on the hook, round, pull through two. In, catch through, round, through two. In, you can see with the chains, it's like little V's and I'm just going in there before the front of the V. Catching the wool, bringing it through, using my finger to hold on the hook, round and through two. I'll show you in real time how I do it. So this is what you're aiming for, the fluidity of doing this. Gets you your chain stitches and then turns them into double knitting. Double knitting, uh, double crochet is a term that you use in the UK and all my terms are UK based term, terms. So in, grab, round, through two. 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 And we do this right to the end of this piece. Um, I've got quite a length of this piece because what I'm going to do is decorate another tin can. Um, what The model I've done to show you an example is uh, done in double knitting and it's done with a size three millimetre hook. I'd recommend if you're using double knitting uh, yarn to use anything from a 2.5 hook to probably a 4.5 hook. For chunkier wool, you're talking five, six, sevens, and super chunky would use an eight inch hook. Uh, today I'm using a straight hook, uh, just a straight metal one, uh, because I'm not doing a lot of work. But any hooks, uh, the ergonomically shaped ones are fantastic. For this one, it really doesn't matter what the hook you're using. So I'm going to in, grab, round, through two. 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 Right, for you left-handers, it's exactly the same. Obviously, I'm, I'm flipping it here. But you're going to go in and then you're going to grab same round oh, it's because it's set up for uh, my hand and then through two through two so it's the same but you're working this way around okay so it's the same technique this one for left and right handers i will do some um videos that's just for lefties um because it's never stopped me before using both hands so i'm going in round, round, through, and i'm going to show you what you can do with it in a minute we're nearly to the end for this it's worth taking time to watch your tension uh, just do a long line of it and you get a lot of muscle memory remember it's the hook hand that moves 
the other hand is for your wool and to hold the chains in this instance in grab round through two 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 you'll need this stitch when you want to make toys and other items it's the go-to stitch for making toy projects and bears i'll be doing a bear soon uh, with moira so i will take some uh, video of, of me doing a bear uh, nearly to the end now in grab round through two 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 and the last one through two so you end up with a length like this and what I'm doing, going to do is now cut off and all you do is grab it wrap it around front back to front pass it through like you do a chain stitch and then keep pulling and give it a little tug and you end up with a lovely end like that so this is the project that it's for uh, decorating a tin can it's done in the same way that I did the bottle video where you just wind it round wind it round uh, but you're using your tin can and your um, double crochet length so I'll start off with a little glue around the bottom and for this you have to wet the ends and kind of put them like that and hold them down you have to make sure that you are catching the ends a little bit fiddly don't twist um the um stitches they've all got to lay the same way and you just go round and round the pot or the bottle or whatever you're trying to decorate. Just make sure that they're next to each other. You don't need to glue all the way up. Once it's anchored down at the beginning, that should be fine. You're always going to have that join at the back, but it's at the back of the piece. And you just keep going and winding it round. It is a lovely um, technique to this. If you do find out you're twisting, pause for a minute, sort it out. Keep your tension as you're wrapping it round well. And if you find out you've got too long a length, you go back down. So I'm giving it a lip. But as you go back down, it's good to give it a bit of texture. Can you see? I'm like leaving a lip, making it a bit more of a fan. So it's just overlapped slightly down. I'll be showing you how to do um, the flowers. So just to, to anchor that now, another spot of glue. And you just glue it down onto your glue and then as it dries uh, you have to leave it to dry now as it dries that will stay nice and firm and you've got a lovely little pot like this one for you to put plants in put it on a windowsill just to make your style and it's also a way to do a double crochet knitting stitch well i hope you enjoyed um you, this project today There'll be another one shortly coming online with the double crochet stitch. So keep doing those chain lengths if you want to do a long length. But I'll show you how to do a double crochet without doing a long length of chain. Anyway, bye bye for now.